girl named Dana Trolle, who's going to be coming out to our shows. She's 40 years old, but she came out to all our early shows and, you know, listened to our record, and she, like, blared in her car before she went into the show. And um, she told me one time that our record helped her get through her divorce, which to me is pretty intense. I've never heard anything like that before, believe it or not. But, you know, Dana, if you're watching, like, what's up? It's a good one. Honestly, seeing people at your show, seeing the words to your songs, um, that makes it all worthwhile and it's so rewarding whenever you see that. I like seeing people do the claps. The up high ones. Makes me really happy. The salmon? Um, the, the understatement. The way that they can say things, they're really understated, but you know exactly what they mean, and it's really funny. It's really funny all the time. <laughs> I don't know, I like it. I liked playing in London too, at the Coco. Uh, special place in my heart. I think it's easy to teach kids history if you can get them to be interested in the first place. And usually they're not. However, I think with the right teacher and with the right curriculum, if you explain to them in layman's terms or in terms you can understand, then they'll totally be into it, you know? Because history is like a gigantic, fascinating novel that actually happened. Um, and, yeah. And I think, I think it would be good. I mean, teaching is one of my other passions, besides music. Best Coast, um, Sleigh Bells, and Ganglions. And, and the morning benders yeah. are uh, these are some of our favorites. So we would love to tour with those guys. I'm sure it'll happen in the future. We're all like buds, so so who knows? You ever you ever do that festival? Um, uh, burning man. Burning man. This is burning man piece. I'm trying to not make it gender. I don't know how I do it. It was a peace sign.